From undiscovered remains to deadly weapons, there's no shortage of strange and mysterious things hiding beneath our waters. You can see things that people don't normally see on an ordinary visit. Here are 15 bizarre discoveries found in drained water bodies. <coughs> Niagara Falls Our first stop takes us to Niagara Falls, an iconic waterfall between Canada and the U.S. What scientists found below these waters has left them speechless. In 1969, the U.S. Army decided to drain the waters so they could study it and protect this iconic landmark and stop it from eroding. Instead of a waterfall, it was reduced to nothing more than a deserted cliff face. Over time, the water had been moving rocks back and forth. By the 1960s, the falls had moved rocks to places that were blocking its natural flow. But you can't get into Niagara Falls and remove the rocks. So the U.S. Army decided to simply drain the entire area by setting up a dam nearby which would block water from flowing into it. What started out as a simple drainage process turned into a death investigation. Two corpses were discovered. The Vancouver Sun published the story. The bodies of an unidentified man and woman have been found here in a grisly beginning to a major engineering feat that has all but halted flow of the Niagara River over the American Falls. Police said today the decomposed body of the woman was discovered Wednesday while they searched for the man who was seen leaping over the precipice. His body was found Thursday. Sadly, deaths such as these are quite common for this area. Believe it or not, the army actually expected to find more. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Buddhist statues. Our next topic takes us to the Far East, where the drop in water levels is the Yangtze River in China uncovered something simply astonishing. The lack of water unveiled a submerged island in the city of Chongqing in southwest China, where three Buddhist statues that are thought to be 600 years old were found. The three statues were discovered on the highest point of the Foilang Island Reef, which was first thought to have been constructed during the Ming and Qing eras. A monk is shown in one of the statues sitting on a lotus pedestal. The discovery attracted a lot of attention, with locals even swimming across the water to see the statues. One of them told Reuters, I think this is very precious. I don't think we'll see it again when the water levels come back, so I'm here to see it. This is the culture that our ancestors have left us. Researchers have since looked into these statues and believe they were built to bless boats passing through. But as water levels continue to drop, who knows what else they may find. <laughs> Nazi warships A similar situation to China occurred further west in Serbia. We now think of World War II in historical terms, but the wounds of this devastating battle can still be seen across Europe and beyond. Recently, the River Danube reached one of its lowest levels in over a century due to severe drought and exposed the wrecks of numerous German warships lost during World War II. These were found close to Serbia's river port city of Prahova and still contained explosives. Serbia is to the southeast of Germany and was occupied by the Nazis during World War II. The river stretched from Germany to the Black Sea, meaning that the Nazis could get to Russia and back by boat through this very river. The ships were among hundreds that Nazi Germany's Black Sea fleet brought along the river in 1944 as they withdrew from oncoming Soviet forces. Hitler's biggest, if not one of his biggest military mistakes, was his decision to invade the Soviet Union. The retaliation from the USSR was particularly brutal. It's argued that the Nazis deliberately sunk the ship so they could hide the sheer volume of weapons inside. Naturally, the locals are quite concerned about these warships and their impact on the environment. One local wrote a book about German ships and said, the German flotilla has left behind a big ecological disaster that threatens us. In order to fix this, the European Union and the European Investment Bank have agreed to give loans and grants to finance the operation to remove some of the vessels near here. 30 million euros is the expected cost of the operation, of which 16 million are grants. While visiting the wreckage site, the EU ambassador to Serbia said, These vessels have been sunk and they've been lying on the riverbed ever since. And this is a problem. It's a problem for the traffic. It restricts the capacity to move. It's a hazard because certain vessels still contain unexploded ordnance. <laughs> Ancient Roman Bridge In Italy, another river experienced drought, except this time it discovered something from much further back in time. 
The Tiber River was once used by Roman emperors but fell into ruin by the 3rd century. However, some fascinating artifacts have been uncovered as Italy surfaced its worst drought in 70 years. The Vittorio Emmanuel Bridge that spans the river close to the Vatican has had two bridges which date back to Emperor Nero that were visible there for much of the summer. Emperor Nero came into power in AD 54. According to one historian, the bridge was constructed in the first century for the emperor to access his gardens. By the third century, the bridge was already deteriorating, so traffic was rerouted. One archaeologist at the British School of Rome told Live Science the remains of this Roman bridge are visible whenever the water level of the Tiber falls. Therefore, whenever there are lengthy periods, like now, a very low rainfall. <laughs> Bom Jesus Shipwreck Our next discovery takes us back to the early 20th century when a diamond was discovered in the Namibian desert in 1908 by a German prospector. A diamond was found in the region, so the Germans quickly took control of the whole region in the hopes of finding more. Even today, the German jeweler De Beers and the government of Namibia still manage a joint venture there. While looking for diamonds, he instead found gold. Only this gold had been lost for almost a thousand years. Archaeologists now believe the discovery could be one of the most important shipwrecks ever made. They found precious items never seen since the 15th century. Some argue it could be a Portuguese ship known as the Bom Jesus, a famous cargo ship which went lost at sea. The archaeologists who found it told news outlets, We figured out the ship came in, it hit a rock and leaned over. He says, The superstructure started breaking up and the chest with the coins was in the captain's cabin and it broke free and fell to the bottom of the sea intact and breaking up a very heavy part of the side of the ship fell on that chest and bent some of the coins. You can see the force by which the chest was hit but it also protected the chest. <laughs> Roman lost property. Our next discovery takes us back to ancient Rome. Alyssa Whitmore, a doctoral candidate in archaeology at the University of Iowa, was studying this ancient civilization and realized that instead of reading ancient texts, she could learn more about the Romans by examining things found under their drains. Baths were widely spread through Europe throughout the Roman Empire for both military and domestic purposes. Many of them were rather elaborate, featuring massive colonnades, intricate mosaics, and pools with temperatures ranging from icy to hot. In those days, baths were public, and going to your public bath was a place to meet and greet other people in the community. Whitmore said, For the Romans, the baths weren't just a place to get clean, but this larger social center where a variety of activities were taking place. It's really a nice place to see and be seen. It makes sense that even if you had to take off your fancy clothes, you would still show off your status through your fancy jewelry. Whitmore looked at objects in Italy, Portugal, Switzerland, Germany, and Britain. Most of the stuff found relates to bathing, such as perfume vials, nail cleaners, flasks for holding oils, and tweezers. But more surprisingly, there were plates that implied that food was eaten there. There were also teeth, suggesting that dentistry was also done. Medical procedures might have been carried out as evidenced by a scalpel found under these baths as well. It's hard to think of things like that were done in a bath during Roman times. Next up is less of an archaeological but a discovery found through animation. The planetary scientist James O'Donohue depicted what it would look like if all that water had drained away which would be exposed, the hidden three-fifths of Earth's surface. This was already done by NASA in 2008, so we did a recent remake so it was in line with what the world looks like now. O'Donohue is employed by JAXA, the Japanese space agency, and formerly worked for NASA. He used an animation that NASA physicist and animator Horace Mitchell made in 2008 for the film and made some modifications to it. To demonstrate how much water was lost throughout the animation, he adjusted the timing and included a tracker. O'Donohue told Business Insider, I slowed down the start since, rather surprisingly, there was a lot of undersea landscape instantly revealed in the first tens of meters. When the ice age occurred, a lot of ocean water was locked up as ice at the poles of the planet. That's why land bridges used to exist. Each of these links enabled humans to migrate, and when the Ice Age ended, the water sort of sealed them in. The message O'Donohue wanted to get across is that the underwater ocean is just as geologically beautiful and fascinating as the land above water. We can't help but agree. <laughs> Mysterious Castle Turkey is a country with an amazing history, so you can only imagine what lies beneath its waters. 
A recent drought actually uncovered a long-forgotten fortress. The Euphrates River's mountainside contains the Hastek Castle. When the dam started to contain water in 1974, it was flooded. The only way to get to the castle was by boat, but historians and visitors are increasingly eager to see this mysterious building. However, the lack of rainfall in 2021 meant that the water levels were incredibly low and unlocked some hidden treasures which haven't been seen for decades. It has long galleries which connect to different rooms. These were literally carved into the Kaban Dam Lake and were believed to be used by the castle to find enemies. You can see the historian moving crawling through the rocks, so it looks like they were built only for sneaking and hiding rather than day-to-day -day usage. The River Euphrates is part of ancient history and is even mentioned in part of the Bible. It's believed that the ancient city of Babylon used to have a tunnel underneath the river to connect two sides of the city, so there was a long history of building secret tunnels. <laughs> the Secrets of Lake Mead our next discovery takes us to Lake Mead, a reservoir formed by the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River. As Lake Mead's water levels continue to drop to their lowest point in more than 80 years, long-kept mysteries are being revealed, including the discovery of a fourth set of human remains. The fourth body was discovered on Saturday at Swim Beach in Nevada, and the Clark County coroner is currently evaluating it. There are no hints as to the identity of the bones or how the person may have passed away. However, a man living in Spain is convinced that one of the remains is of his father. He was three years old when his 22-year-old father tragically died. His death involved a speedboat accident. At this age, all they can do to confirm this is to see if the teeth of the corpse match with his father's dental records, but finding dental records from 60 years ago was almost impossible. The coroner did find the remains were of a man roughly between the age of 23 and 38. The Sun told news outlets, with each clue, I always expect in my mind that it's going to put us farther away from our goal, but consistently each clue is putting us closer, and this is like a bullseye. The Sun was willing to provide his DNA and do a test. This story was reported in August of 2022, so fingers crossed that it works out for him. <laughs> World War II bomb And again, we have more remnants from World War II, but this time in Italy. In almost a similar situation as before, Europe has been receiving record-breaking heat waves, and this lowered water levels and uncovered secrets of its dark past. In Italy's River Po, so low that a World War II bomb that had been submerged was exposed. The 450-kilogram bomb was found on July 25th, close to the northern village of Borgo Virgilio, was neutralized by military experts on Sunday and then detonated under controlled circumstances. At first, some of the inhabitants said they would not move, but in the last few days, we think we've persuaded everyone," said Borgo Virgilio's mayor. Italy's Po Valley was the setting of a huge battle in World War II. When Britain was fighting Germany, they hoped to enter northern Italy through France and hopefully make their way slowly up towards Germany. Hmm. Petrified Forest our next stop takes us to the northeast coast of England, unexpectedly the remnants of an old woodland that was lost to the sea at the end of the last ice age have surfaced. Recent storms have removed tons of sand from Red Car Beach, exposing the remains. The unusual site has drawn a large number of tourists. The forest, according to a geologist, was once flourishing with animal and bird life and was roughly 10,000 years old. He remarked, I can see how this looked before the ice had completely melted. There have also apparently been pieces of ancient shipwrecks visible among the petrified woods. According to experts, the forest was once a part of Doggerland, a prehistoric length of sparsely populated area that connected the UK to Europe. The wood has been covered in minerals and other materials for so long that it looks like stone. Forgotten Church Moving over to Mexico, droughts in the area managed to uncover a forgotten church. This 19th century chapel that had been submerged for decades has now surfaced from the waters of a lake in central Mexico. We have the surreal image of a church situated on its own in the middle of a lake. When the Parisima Dam was constructed in 1979 and buried, the colonial community of El Zangaro, the Church of the Virgin of Dolores, vanished. The director of a local municipal archives told Mexico News Daily, Oral history tells us that it was very difficult for them to leave the place, not just because of the buildings, but because of the sense of belonging to the place. A few resisted until they saw it was already a reality that the water would arrive and cover the entire town. Sadly, all that's left of their town is this ancient church. 
empty car. Lower Shaker Lake in Ohio was due for renovation, so it needed to be drained. On June 3rd, when crews arrived for work, they discovered an abandoned automobile offshore from the lake's western edge, submerged in the muck. The 2007 Chevrolet Cobalt had sunk into the Cleveland Heights territorial waters, where Cleveland Heights police took up the investigation. Despite the fact that it might have been driven or released from the Shaker Heights shoreline off of South Point Boulevard, the lake was drained in 2019, but the car is believed to have been stolen in 2008. Detectives found that there were no license plates. There are a number of different scenarios. It could have been careless driving and somebody accidentally drove it into the lake, but the fact that the license plates were taken suggests that it could have been part of a crime. The car could have been stolen and they needed to get rid of the evidence. Even if they found this evidence, they also got rid of the license plate so it couldn't be traced. <laughs> Mysterious Shrines Our next topic involves mysterious findings which have been discovered in both India and Cambodia. Despite being thousands of miles away from one another, a similar connection was found. There's a famous pilgrimage in the town of Sirsi Karnakara, India, and another one of the same name in Cambodia. When translated, it means a thousand Shiva Lingas. Shiva is one of the main Hindu gods, and a Linga is a carving or a symbol. These symbols are not statues, but are all carved on rocks, and they're all carved on rocks which are underwater. During the summer months, these carved rocks finally appear and you get to see the 1,000 Shiva Lingas. These carvings were done between 1600 and 1700 where it was done by the order of a king. And the same thing was done over in Cambodia where you can see sculptures along the riverbed when the water is dry. There's no official reasons as to why they are underwater. In Cambodia, some locals suggest that water flowing over the Lingas will become more fertile when they reach the fields where they grow their food Whatever the reason, they certainly do look amazing. Drained Canal Lastly, we've got something amazing that happened in France in 2016. For the first time in 15 years, a famous Parisian canal is being drained, and a ton of strange and surprising artifacts have already come to light. This involved taking 23 million gallons of water and dumping it into the nearby river scene. The French capital's 10th borough is one of the most upscale and trendy areas of the city and it's centered around the Canal St. Martin. In recent years, the region has gained a reputation for having a vibrant nightlife that draws both tourists and residents. Underneath the canal was 45 tons of waste. This included bikes, chairs, supermarket trolleys, street signs and even a fire extinguisher. Even a pistol was found, which was handed into the police. The deputy mayor in charge of the environment and canals told a local news outlet, if everyone mucks in and avoids throwing anything in the water, we might be able to swim in the canal in a few years as in numerous other European cities. Believe it or not, the canal is being drained every 10 to 15 years, which is why all of the remnants found are relatively recent. This was done in 2016, so they might be starting again in 2026. Who knows what they might find next time around. And that brings our video to a close. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like. We've got a lot more exciting videos in the pipeline, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm.